It struck early this morning in the San Fernando Valley in Northridge, which is about 10 miles northwest of where I'm standing, and it did major damage throughout the... ...consumed Los instantly when this gas main exploded, sending flames 100 feet into the air. The blast ruptured this water main, but dozens of others were shaken loose by the quake, sending torrents of water into valley streets. Gas the lines are ripped from the ground and ignite. I really had the sensation that... The entire region has been plunged into complete blackness. They have electricity, they don't have water. And... Dead inside the rubble of the hillside home were two people, one of them this woman's daughter. Out on the highways, Officer Rick Myler inspects the damage to sections of the Golden State Freeway. Three hours ago, this was nice, clean freeway, and now it's just a pile of rubble. It was good, something that lasted maybe eight seconds. Each caused... hospital, parts of the ceiling start to cave in. Everything started coming in. All the ceiling tiles started to fall. So many things were falling down on you that there was you, you didn't know which way to go. As bad as the damage looks on the outside of St. John's Hospital, the damage inside is much, much worse. Cracked fire alarms, cracked ceilings with water mains completely exposed cracked walls and stairways, and destroyed patient rooms. The equipment in the hallways is just being collected now. Why it wouldn't be possible for a patient to stay in here? On this wall, above the patient's bed, and you can see that no medical services would be possible in this circumstance. As a matter of fact, if it begins to shake again, we're going to have to run. We just thought that after the earthquake, we would just pick everything up and just clean up the house, but once we started to assess the damage and the beams around the lower part of the building, we realized we had to get out. Yeah, we just realized. We had to you had to go. Yeah. Our unit's on the top floor, and it's, uh, it's not really as damaged as some of the bottom ones, but this thing is still shaking a lot, and it's really scary to stay here. Phil follows a couple of inspectors around as they take a close look at the earthquake damage. We'll learn what guidelines they use to slap a red condemn tag on a building and how they decide if a building is still home for thousands of people, not because their homes have been destroyed, but because this is perceived to be a safe place to be. There is still a lot of fear in L.A. tonight.